And it's recently been reported that Camilla is likely to be a bit nervous about the upcoming coronation and that her ex-husband, Andrew Parker Bowles, will also be there. Now, she spent a long time in public life. Um, is it a surprise to you that she's nervous? And, and what are your thoughts on Andrew attending? Well, I'm not, I'm not uh, surprised at Camilla. I mean, it's going to be a huge event, you know, talking about hundreds of millions of people watching this around the world. I did a, a story last week just about how the planning was still pretty, you know, there's lot, lot, lots of tension within the planning because uh, they'd only had one rehearsal. Uh, that was timed and, and went significantly over. I mean, we've seen there's an awful lot to prepare. There's been sort of dawn rehearsals on the streets of London for all the thousands and thousands of armed personnel that are going to take place. And I, no doubt she's nervous, but uh, I'm sure uh, it will be all right on the night, as they say. So Andrew Parker Bowles attending as well. I think that shows you another demonstration of a blended family. We've seen that Prince George is going to have a part and certainly Camilla's grandchildren as well. And these two families coming together to, to try and support each other. So I didn't think that was too much of a, of a surprise. Now, we still don't know where Prince Andrew will fit in. Um, obviously, he won't be in the procession. He's not a working royal. We won't see him on the balcony. But certainly, where will he be sat? We've seen him a uh, bit more front and centre over the last few weeks, uh, attending church with the royal family at Easter Sunday. He was right behind the king and queen and striding alongside his sister. So, uh, you know, I think there will be a, a, a few raised eyebrows if he has a, a role, a larger role to play. And I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. Still on Camilla, uh, we've discussed on this show a few times that underlying rancour about Camilla taking the title of queen instead of queen consort. Uh, that hasn't quietened down, has it? Well, no, again, he's talking a lot about polls over the last few weeks and it's whether to trust the pollsters on anything. I'm not too sure they get most right. However, certainly I think it has been a remarkable shift for Camilla. It's been a, a PR masterclass because you look at what she's had to contend with, certainly in her early royal life, she was uh, re really public enemy number one, that people didn't think that Charles should have married her. I think we look at Harry's book and he says himself that both he and Prince William begged their father not to marry Camilla. And then he did, and it was all about her sort of rehabilitating her public image. And I suppose she has done that remarkably well. She's rolled her sleeves up, she's got on with the job, she's understood what royal life is about. And, uh, and that should be um, applauded because she's brought really taboo subjects to the top of the agenda. Looking at royal speaking about domestic violence would have been unheard of just a few years ago. And she's really made some huge strides in that arena. She's done fantastically well looking at children's literacy in particular. And I think that when you look at the, the, the overall picture, she is a tremendous ambassador for the royal family and, uh, and, um, and, and she does make Charles happy. So I think there's a, there's a lot for her to be happy about.